How can we receive the promise of our Divine Master Sunday as promised to St. Faustina by our Lord Jesus Christ? The promise is that the soul that go to confession and receive communion, holy communion, obtain complete forgiveness and punishment to, for sins. Those who go for confessions on the Divine Mercy Sunday and receive the sacrament of Holy Communion shall obtain complete forgiveness of sins and punishment. Now, you might say, Father Gamma, how can it happen? Today we cannot come to Mass because of this pandemic. Yes, but remember, Though at St. Vincent de Paul today, we will offer the sacrament of confession from 1 to 2.30, and then after that, we find the way to reach each and every one of you who come on the parking lot. But again, the Catechism of the Catholic Church says, if you take some time to ask the Holy Spirit to remind you on your sins, and then do the act of contrition and then have intention to go to the next available confession, you will receive forgiveness. And again, we have spiritual communion prayer. If we pray that with faith, having intention of receiving communion, the next opportunity time when it comes, you receive the grace of the sacrament. So let us use this opportunity today to do that so that we may obtain the grace promised to St. Faustina by our Lord Jesus Christ, that the soul that goes to confession and receive Holy Communion shall obtain forgiveness of sins and punishment. You know, Jesus is the way to reach his people everywhere they are. See how he reveals himself to every one of his disciples since the resurrection. He comes mysteriously to visit us in the way sometimes we don't, know, we don't understand. Like today's gospel, Jesus entered the room which was locked the disciples were there for the, fears, for the fear of the Jews. They locked themselves, but Jesus came to them and wished them peace. Peace be with you. And one of them was not there, Thomas, called Didymus. And Jesus came back again one week later for him who was doubting. He said, unless I see the mark of the nail in his hands and put the, my finger into the nails and put my hand into the side, I will not believe. Thomas did not believe and Jesus came back to him. In the time of tribulations that may happen to you and me as well, especially this time when we lock ourselves, you know, Jesus is coming to our homes as he came to the disciples when they locked themselves for the fear of the Jews. The difference is they feared the Jews, we fear for this pandemic. But Jesus finds the way to reach us. What happens to Thomas is sometimes happening to us as well. All of us who believe in Jesus Christ as a savior have been there. We believe, but we get our eyes off the Lord when tribulations emerge before us. We sometimes doubt. We ask some questions about God's presence in our lives. We sometimes ask if God really cares, especially the times like this. We sometimes ask, where is God when we need him so much? It is a normal life normal thing in our lives, that there are 
Sometimes we go through periods of joy and periods of stress. Sometimes we say life is so good. I love what I'm doing. I have people I love and I am loved by people around me. Or sometimes you might say, I have great family, great marriage, great parish, great friends who make me smile even when they drive me crazy. We might say that. That is how we feel sometimes. At this time, we won't question the presence of God in our lives. And then there are times when we seem to go from one crisis to another. We are confronted with death, sickness, unemployment, actions of others that disappoint us, and our own actions that upset us. Sometimes there are our stress in relationships. Our children don't understand us and we don't understand them. Then we wonder, we ask, why does God let these miseries to happen like this time? And yes, like Thomas, there are still times that we doubt and question and ask for his physical and scientific presence in our life. We ask and we want to know if God cares. When we see everyone is locked inside, when we see our brothers and sisters dying, suffering from coronavirus, we ask and sometimes we doubt. As he did for Thomas, when he was not there, when he came to visit the disciples, he came back a week later. He can come to you and me today, wherever you are. What we need is to have trust in him. And Jesus has got his ways to reach every one of his people. And that's why in our parish we try to reach every one of you. We have confessions today. And for those of you who can come at 4 p.m. today, the Holy Eucharist will be given to you for the blessing. Father Dan and I, Deacon, Jay, and Luke, and all our staff members will be working to go around the parking lot to our house, person's house, to bless you with the Eucharist. That is the way Jesus can reach you and me today. You are most welcome so that we continue to enjoy the blessings and grace and forgiveness from our Lord Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ is with us always. When we think he is very far, I tell you, he is very close. Let us pray that we may grasp and rightly understand the presence of God in our lives, wherever we are. And every time, in, in good times and in bad times, Jesus is there. Let us put our trust upon him. God is good all the time. All the time, God is good. <laughs>